Hello there, if you're curious about how to use Facebook groups for business, then you're in the right place because I'm about to share with you um, exactly how I help my clients to get clients and make money from Facebook groups and how you can do it too without being sleazy or inauthentic or spamming or anything like that. So why am I qualified to talk about Facebook groups for business? Well, last year, my own Facebook group generated over $400,000 in sales. And that's even more remarkable when you realize that I've only got 3,000 members. So do the maths there. That basically averages out at $133 for every member, even though the majority of people in my Facebook group are not paying clients and customers. So Facebook groups can be exceptionally lucrative for business when you use them the right way. So there are two ways that I have my clients use Facebook groups. I resisted having a Facebook group myself for a long time until I realized just how great they could be for business. And the first thing that I get my clients to do to grow their audience is to start their own, their own Facebook group. And the reason for that is when you have a Facebook group, it basically becomes a place where you can nurture relationships with potential clients and customers, where you can get to know them, they can get to know you, you can share value, you can ask them questions, you can learn about what's coming up for them. And that basically means you get to know your audience better, so you can match your offers to what they really want, need and desire. And of course, having your own Facebook group is a great way for you to position yourself as an expert, share from a place of authority, and you can really set the tone so people can really see who you are and get, get to connect with you. Now, honestly, starting a Facebook group is the first strategy I give new clients in my programs because it's such a powerful way to um, create relationships, to make connections, and to start to generate leads that turn into paying business later. But the other thing that you can do is you can use other people's Facebook groups. And the reason for this is because it basically is the place where your future clients are already congregating online. Someone else has already um, assembled them into a group and you can leverage that. Now, I'm not recommending that you start going into Facebook groups and poaching business from people. That is not cool, that's a no-no. But what you can do is you can use those groups to be visible and valuable. Now, there is a good way to do this and a way not to do this. So I don't recommend that you just land into a group and start spamming them with your posts or your messages or very um, advertising type messages. That's not cool. It'll probably get you banned from the group and it's really not a great way to attract clients. Much more powerful way is to go into the group and start to look at what are the conversations already taking place in the group where you can add value. And you can find these conversations quite easily by using the search bar at the top of a group and typing in keywords and that will help you um, identify threads and conversations that you could contribute to. Start to contribute those and what you'll find is people will start to like and engage with you and you can then friend request those people. You can potentially take the conversation further. Sometimes you might just want to invite them to join your Facebook group too. Um, equally, you can use the Facebook group to identify and make friends with people who are your potential clients. And the easiest way to do this is go into a Facebook group, look at the members list and look for people that you have things in common with. Now, this is important. Again, you don't want to spam. But if there are people that you have things in common with, that means that you've already got connections with them. You might have mutual friends. You might already be in a group together and those are great people to friend request because often those friend requests can turn into conversations online, messaging conversations and again those can be people that you can invite back to your group. Now the great thing about all of this is it doesn't have to take a ton of your time. Literally you could get this going about 10 to 15 minutes a day but you could rapidly grow an audience and it's very common for people in my programs to grow their audience to a thousand or more within just a couple of months. I've even had some clients that have blown up their groups and added like 3,000, 6,000 members in record time. The final thing I'll say is as with everything in life, how you do it is more important than what you do. And what I mean by that is if you're planning to use Facebook groups for business, you definitely want to do this with an attitude of caring and sharing and adding value and making connections, knowing that doing that consistently will lead to business. If you are doing going into Facebook groups and either starting a great Facebook group or going into other people's Facebook groups and you're very much doing that with a taking energy where you're interested in what you can get versus what you can give, it's probably not going to pay off.
So I hope that's helped you. If you don't have a Facebook group already, perhaps I've just inspired you to start one. Or even if you don't have a Facebook group already, you can see that there are things you could do today to make connections that could lead to sales this week. If you would like to join my Facebook group, I'd love to have you. Come on over to my party. I'll add a link there below and I share more content in there, including content on how to grow a Facebook group too. So I look forward to seeing more of you. Do leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.